Wisconsin goes down. They lose 83-87. to Boy, oh boy, this was a heartbreaker for the Badgers. They played tough. I, I, I think Wisconsin played well. They were just, they were at Penn State, and Penn State had one of those games where they just, I, I think Wisconsin maybe led for a minute if in this game or something like that, but they did not lead for long and Penn state took the lead back and, and they just kept it in this game. I mean, ACE Baldwin was fantastic. Uh, that Kanye Clary is a really, really good scorer. And, uh, they, they just made it happen in this one and really took care, took care of Wisconsin. And I, we knew eventually it would happen, but I didn't think it would happen against Penn state. Uh, so credit to Penn state, but at the end of the day, Wisconsin's still really good. Brant, what were some of your thoughts on this game? Yeah, honestly, I kind of saw it coming. Um, the Badgers are kind of due for a loss. You know, they're a good team, but they're they're not head and shoulders above the rest of the Big Ten. And Penn State also is they're they're a better team than people are giving them credit for. They kind of have a three headed monster in the back uh, backcourt. You mentioned Ace Baldwin. I'd put him in the top maybe three point guards in the in the conference probably. Um, and then Kanye Clary, a very underrated young player. He dropped twenty seven. Uh, just getting bucket after bucket and Nick Hearn uh, out of VCU as well. I believe um, that Mike Rhodes brought him over. Not, not at that himself. He had 15 against Wisconsin. Um, so it's, I mean, if they can hit shots, they really can. We saw it against Ohio state earlier this year. They just kind of went lights out and took us down on the road. Um, and Penn state, I mean, it's when you think of tough places to play in college basketball, you're not thinking of happy Valley, but it, it's been it's been tougher to play there this season. Yeah. It's been tough to play anywhere in the Big Ten this season, and Penn State's no exception. Um, so to go to go and see them dominate from start to finish against Wisconsin, a little surprising, but didn't catch me completely off guard. Yeah, and I think um, you know Penn State's backcourt really makes up for the offensive liability that the front court of Penn State can be. But at the end of the day. Penn State's front court is doing exactly what they need them to do in these wins. Um, now, sometimes they don't, but in these wins, they're playing good defense and they're getting rebounds, which is really what you want from your front court when you have an outstanding backcourt like what they have in Penn State. Dakota, what were some of your thoughts on this one? I mean, I think this was, I mean, a lot of people, I think, could chalk this up to a down game from Wisconsin. But I mean, if you look, I'm down their, their team stats. I mean, they out-rebounded Penn State by 11. They shot better percentage from three, a little worse from the field. But th- I think this was just entirely just a game where Penn State just went out and just beat Wisconsin at home. I mean, obviously you had a career night from Kanye Clary going for 27. You got Ace Baldwin going for 20. I think this really just came down to Wisconsin not being able to get the stops because I think you saw routinely down the stretch the backcourt of uh, Penn State just being able to get in the lane kind of whenever they wanted to they ran really good action to get in the lane where they were either able to get to the rim or you know spray out to to get good looks from beyond the arc and they hit all the shots they needed to and I think you guys absolutely nailed it where this definitely isn't Penn State I feel like occupies a weird space in the Big Ten where everyone just kind of looks at them as this just kind of not necessarily a doormat but like you don't really think about them um, but like they'll get you I mean obviously Shrewsbury last year put them sort of back on the map again obviously he's moved on now to Notre Dame but I don't think I think a lot of people expected Penn State to take a step back and kind of just really overlooked them but I mean they got dudes and what do you got to, what do you need to win in college basketball you need good guard play and Penn State got great guard play in this one and I mean you look at it and that's all all they needed in this one they were able to get to the rim get good looks and got enough stops and rebounds to come out with a win good win and Penn State I feel like is kind of the shining example um Sorry, I was watching. The- <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. All right, okay. The Nebraska game. Yep. Uh, Simpson traveled immediately back to Nebraska. I'm not doing overtime. Thank you, Kent. <laughs> it is an overtime, so we'll have more to pay attention to here. Uh, no, but I was saying about Penn State. Penn State's kind of the shining example right now in the Big Ten of how you can really just essentially flip a roster, right? I mean, this was the Penn State team last year that was booty ball, you know, good shooters, making all these things happen. And then now we have this this incredible backcourt with a front court that, you know, I explained them earlier. Uh, and then Leo O'Boyle, who, you know, I just, <laughs> I love watching him out there play. Uh, he, he He's really fun when he's hitting shots and doing a great job there. Uh, but when 
this Penn State team is locked in on defense, and, and that's kind of what they really go for uh, in these wins, it, it's it's really tough to beat them. When they're at home, they play good defense. It's really tough to beat them, and Wisconsin was a great display of that in this one. I mean, they, they turned the ball over more than – they pretty much have all year in this one. And although Penn State didn't get the offensive rebounds that they needed, they didn't turn the ball over hardly at all in this one. And, you know, it was a really, really good game for Penn State. Uh, Brant, you mentioned Ace Baldwin and you had a ranking him among point guards in the Big Ten. But, but I'm going to take it a step further and talk about the entire backcourt of Penn State. Is this, is this a top five, top three backcourt in the Big Ten right now? I think you can make the argument that it's top five. Top three might be pushing it. I have to kind of lay things out and kind of compare and contrast. But I, I think you could probably say pretty easily it's top five, solely because of Ace Baldwin and then the emergence of Kanye Clary. If he plays a little more consistently, that's that can be scary as you kind of go down the stretch here in conference play. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, are you as down, Dakota, on the Penn State front court as kind of I am with maybe their offensive efficiency um, in that area or just overall what are your thoughts I think it's it's hard right because obviously the front court in the Big Ten is vitally important and I definitely would say that Penn State's you know front court probably doesn't live up to probably the Big Ten standard but that said I think you're getting exactly what you can from Wahab and Hicks um, obviously Hicks and this one goes three of six from three for nine points definitely not gonna be mad about that Wahab just has that athleticism and length to bother um to bother opponents when they get in the lane I don't think you're looking at those guys to go out and score per se obviously you didn't need it in this one but I think they're serviceable enough to be plucky at home and you get them at the right time on the road um the longevity of this is kind of tough to say but I think for this Penn State team I think they're exactly what they need could they use a little bit more probably um as you saw in other games like the like the Purdue game where it was just lights out for Zach Eady but obviously not every team in the Big Ten especially this year is going to be able to put a front court out against them and you can expect to get that kind of performance out of them so I think honestly while it could be better yeah I think for at least this team and the guard oriented play that they're going to play specifically I think they're exactly what they need well, and as they continue to grow too, right? Also you know, true. This isn't, this isn't a Penn State team that anybody expected to come in here and be top four in the conference or anything like that. So um, I do want to touch on Wisconsin before we end here. Uh, Brant, w- is Wisconsin in trouble after this one? Did you see something about Wisconsin? You're like, ooh, I don't like that. Or this could lead to maybe a few more losses. Are, are you down or are you kind of still up there with like, yeah, Wisconsin's a good team and this was just a blip on the radar? Yeah, I wouldn't say they're in trouble. I still think they kind of played their brand of basketball. Um, you know, it's kind of try and out hustle the opponent. They just simply got out hustled and outplayed. Um, but I, I don't think they're in trouble. I think they'll be able to turn it back around. I think this is a good team. I think this is a, this is an experienced team. You know, lots of these guys were all together last year, aside from AJ Store. Um, and it's you know they play a lot of basketball together. I think if if there's one team that's going to be able to bounce back from a loss like this. It's the it's the Wisconsin Badgers. Yeah, yeah. I think I think this is a team that Penn State just kind of got them. Uh, you know, sleepy Tuesday night uh, on the road, and that's a hard game to uh, to really counter when the team is other team is playing so hard. Dakota, are you kind of the same way we are, or are you a little bit different? Oh, I mean, yeah, exactly. Obviously, Purdue's already gotten got a couple of times just on the road it's it's tough to win on the road in the big 10 i mean say what you will about rankings and personnel and all that stuff going on the road like you said on a sleepy little tuesday night winter storm rolling through pittsburgh from pennsylvania probably it is everywhere else um i think this is just one of those games that they, they went out on the road competed i mean you can't say they didn't play well they shot 44 percent from three they got five dudes into double figures i think that's just a game that penn state just won I don't, i'm not worried about wisconsin yeah yeah uh and speaking of sleepy it was pajama night there as well so it really was <laughs> there you sleepy, go sleepy lean Tuesday in night. <laughs> uh, thanks for listening to the big 10 huddle please do like and subscribe we appreciate that if this was your first time listening we are the big 10 huddle we cover all things big 10 football and basketball we have a long episode every sunday tuesday and wednesday night all at nine o'clock so come in check us out Get in the chat. Let us know what you're thinking. We would love to have you join us and learn more about the Big Tips.